talking. I'm a little squat right now, but we want to be talking. Topic of this video is reasons to get married. Before I get into this topic, I want to let y'all know this channel is all about men and women want to be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives, the health, the wealth, the day, the relationship, and the mindset. So, I appreciate y'all being here. Definitely, if you want to help out with the channel and algorithm, like the video. If you just want to support me. Other than that, uh, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification button so you know if I whenever I upload some, some new videos. Definitely share in the video. That'll help this get this video and this message out so more people can use this video and this message so we can make this world a better place for us and our future generations. Alright? So I appreciate this topic. Touch on this topic a little bit. So marriage nowadays um, it's got a little bit of a bad rap. Some people are for it, some people are against it, you know what I'm saying? Um, some people uh, support it, marriage rates are going down, you know, divorce rates definitely going up, or above 50% at least, you know, so um, a lot of people are not getting married, and a lot of people are leaving marriages, and a lot of people are married, married when they should be married, but um, marriage is not a, a curse word, and I'm going to give you reasons four reasons to get married and of course the bonus at the end so definitely stay to the end for the bonus it's going to put everything together very nicely you know what i mean and really encourage you if you are looking to get married all right so let us definitely get started and let us get this topic rolling all right so first question you want to ask when it comes to uh the people or the person you want to get married to is do they respect you do they respect you that is very important. Um, you definitely don't want to marry anybody. You don't even want to date anybody who doesn't respect you. You don't even want to mess. You might want to mess with if, you, if they really look good, but you don't want to get in a relationship or date somebody who doesn't respect you. Um, that is for a man following your lead, submitting to you. Does the woman follow your lead, submit to you? That's a huge sign of respect for a woman. Does the man keep you in mind? Do they consider you? because a man has to have a certain level of um, like for you, love for you, to consider you if he's a strong man because strong men like to live life on their terms and to have people around them who live life on their terms, you know? So if a man is considering you, that means he does respect you and he considers you uh, an important aspect to his life, you know? So that is one way a woman can look for respect from a man. Um, so yes, that is very important. Does, do they respect you? All right. Second like question you want to ask, are they good in bed? That is a great question you want to ask. Are they good in bed? Because as much as some people don't like to talk about sex, sex is a very important part of a relationship. Sure. Though it's not the most important, it is very important, you know? Um, so you want to be able to, um, enjoy somebody sexually and though sure you may get old you may get old but if you are um, good in the bedroom you know sexually you'll be able to keep things fresh find new ways to keep things fresh and energized you know what i'm saying and things will be okay you know so that is very important making sure uh, they're good in bed you know and on top of that understanding that um when you have that aspect covered enjoy each other, you have more intimacy, respect goes up, pleasure goes up, you know, it has health benefits, you know, you want to stay in shape, it just, it just overall is a great way to keep uh, a relationship and a marriage alive, alright, so um, keep that in mind, if somebody's good in bed with you. <laughs> and uh, this third question actually is a follow-up to that, pretty much. Do you enjoy them outside of the bedroom? You want to enjoy somebody uh, who you are wanting to get married with um, as much outside the bedroom as you do inside the bedroom. It is very important, it's crucial, it's crucial that you enjoy them outside the bedroom or in the bedroom or outside the bedroom as much as you do inside the bedroom because again, if you are just in the bed with them and that's all you want, then you shouldn't get in a relationship with them. You'd probably be, 
you know, just, uh, you know, uh, fuck buddies, friendly benefits, but uh, you definitely don't want to enjoy those too much outside the bedroom where you don't enjoy them in the bedroom because then you should just be friends. You want to have that happy medium, all right? You want to be able to get along with them. You want to be able to um, enjoy their company, maybe, you know, go out, talk, be able to have conversations. Maybe you have intellectual conversations. Maybe you enjoy uh, their, their, their um, sense of humor, um, what they like to do for fun. You enjoy that. You can relate to that, you know? It's very important. You know, so because a relationship is not just about sex and, you know, the sexual parts actually, if done correctly, you know, just a small portion. So most relationships can be outside the bedroom and you want to be able to find somebody you enjoy outside the bedroom. You know, so it's very important. So I appreciate y'all making it this far into the video. You know, if you're not already done, so definitely like the video again. It helps out with the algorithm. Subscribe button uh, definitely let me know if you're liking the list so far if you're disliking it let me know if you're liking what you've heard or you know, you're not of course in the comments respectfully you know it's very important <coughs> and definitely share the video so we can get this video and this information out so more people can use this video and this information to make the world a better place for us and our future generations all right so let's move on do you can this person who you wanted to marry, can they provide the life that you want? All right, it's very important to understand that. As a man, are you looking for a stay-at-home wife? Do you know how many children you want to have? Do you want your wife to work? Do you want to pay a bill? Whatever you want, can she provide that as a man? Of course, when there's a woman, does this man make a certain amount of money? Is he you know, going to be around as much as you would like? You know? Again, do you get to decide how many kids you want to have? All that is very important when you're deciding what kind of life you want to live. And can this person provide the life you want to live? Alright? You know, so you have to keep that in mind. Because when it comes to marriage, this is a lifetime commitment. Sure, we have a high divorce rate. Sure, people get divorced. And, you know, marriage uh, rates are down now. But initially marriage insurance you know if you go to the history it's not just about love but as it is today it's a, it's a lifetime commitment and you got to find somebody who you want to spend the rest of your life with essentially you know what i mean so can they help you provide the life that you want all right very important to keep in mind and then we have the bonus here super important as well um, because it's a really tired thing to the together here and I appreciate y'all staying to the end here. You know, do they help you be a better person? Do they help you be a better person? Alright? Do they help you want to stay in shape? Do they help you want to make more money? Do they help you want to be a nicer person? Do they help you want to progress in your career? Do they help you want to uh, make more contacts? You know what I mean? All, do they help you want to be better sexually? Everything. Do they help you want to learn more? Everything is very important. Do they help you want to be a better person? That is the most important thing. Because if you feel complacent with this person, then you're going to stay there and eventually you're going to be miserable. You're going to be miserable. You got to always be learning. You got to always be progressing. You got to always be better in life. Because if not, your life will be stale and boring and you're not going to like it. All right? So that's super important. Do they help you be a better person? Appreciate y'all staying to the end, listen to the bonus, all that good stuff. So um, definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, share the video. Let me know. Um, definitely share the video so you can get this video. This information out to more people. Can use this information so we can make this world a better place for us and our future generations. Like the list, dislike the list. Of course, respectfully in the comments again. Uh, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Of course, I make this video or this channel that I make in the videos that I'm making for you. So I want to know what you want to talk about. Uh, definitely, uh, if you found value in the video, definitely donate. Only if you found value. It's going to keep me motivated. It's going to help me bring higher quality of content to the channel. Of course, uh, I also want to know, uh, y'all see my links down there? 
Follow those links. Click those links. There's a way to make money. Cheap ways, free ways, expensive ways, ways to make money. Click the links. Figure out what works best for you. I'm constantly adding new ones. And I definitely want y'all to click the links if you're looking for ways to make some money. Um, outside of that, I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all stay safe. Until next week, I will see y'all. And always remember the strongest person is the happiest person.